Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney. We're here today at the gorgeous Folkways at Gwynedd, and I've got our executive chef standing here with us, Ryan Pomroy, and we've also got the CEO here. We've got Mike Peasley. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining us. Thank so, you. first of all, what are we going to make today? Uh, we're going to be featuring what we serve here in the dining room. We have a, uh, a program that's called Fish Market, Ooh. and every night we have a uh, different selection of fishes that the residents can come up. They can uh, pick their fish, and then we do some different toppings, which we're going to be preparing today. We'll do some relishes, maybe some tapenades. It's, it's really exciting. We cook the fish to order in front of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we can either saute it for them or we can grill it. I love it. So what do we have to choose from today? Uh, we're going to do this catfish, and we're going to do it in a um, cashew-crusted uh, breading, kind of. Okay. And uh, we're going to do this halibut as well. Now, this catfish is great. Uh, we serve it here a lot. It's, it's a local blue catfish. It's out really? of Chesapeake. Um, you don't hear that too much around here. No, catfish. no, it's kind of it's kind of got a new buzz going on because yeah. they're um, they're kind of targeting them because the population is so big in the Chesapeake, it's actually degrading other fish populations. Interesting. So uh, this has been a staple here for about the last couple months, and uh, we're going to help them get the population down. Cool. Well, I'll <laughs> let you get started on that, and I'm going to move over here to Mike and tell me about the facilities here. Yeah, Folkways of Gwinnett is a continuing care retirement community mm -hmm. where really all the needs of the residents and the needs and desires of the residents are met through all of our programs and various departments. Of course, dining services is a big hit and very totally. popular among our residents. And, you know, every day residents share a meal together and socialize together, but also enjoy excellent cuisine, which is also healthy. In addition to that, of course, we have all the other services and award-winning health care is a part of what we offer at Folkways. Excellent. And the campus, as I think you've seen today, is yes. really very special. It, it is. And about how many people are here? At, at a little over 400. Okay. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the staff as well, 300-plus mm -hmm. staff. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So when Chef says he cooks for our residents, he's also cooking for the staff. They also enjoy it. Wonderful. Wonderful food. And how are the residents involved in the community here? There's a lot of different committees okay. of, of residents. Uh, we have over 100 different committees and, and special interest groups, mm -hmm. and they handle all of their own programming. Residents are very independent here. Uh, we try to provide the services, but they provide the programming for Great. you know, activities, whatever it might be. They're, they're very deeply involved in the running of the community. Wonderful. And now this is also a green community. We've converted a lot of the apartments to geothermal. It's fantastic. And our residents really appreciate that ability to see us cut back on our use of fossil fuels. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so nice to know about a place like this. Well, Mike, thank you so much for You're telling so us a little bit more about it. Thanks for asking. All right. We're yeah. going to get back to cooking. Good. Enjoy. All right. So what's this in here? So what I did is I crushed, uh, coarsely crushed some cashews, added mm -hmm. some breadcrumb and a little uh, salt and pepper, okay. seasoned it up. Just lightly season the fish as well. We're going to roll it in the breadcrumbs. Great. So you just go straight into the crumb with that, or are you doing a standard breading procedure? Uh, just straight, a very light mm -hmm. crust. Um, if you wanted to do a very thicker crust, um, this is kind of nice because I like that though. It yeah, adds a little texture to it, but it also at the same time doesn't um, doesn't add take away from the thin, fish. It's a delicate piece of fish, so we don't really need too much. It cooks very fast, so yeah. we'll probably do this right before we plate up. This is great. I'm really excited about the catfish. I used to live in Louisiana. We had a lot of oh, catfish down there, and I never see it up this way. That's, uh, that's a staple down there. And this is right. wild, right? This isn't farm-raised. Uh, correct. Correct. It swims in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, that's found a lot of times in, yeah. uh, in the back tributaries that go through there. It feeds on other, other fish. It does not a bottom feeder that... Um, most pond catfish, as you would see, mm -hmm. that catch as a boy that I used to in a pond. <laughs> Since it swims and it and hunts their prey, yeah. it has a little bit more of a, a, of a firm texture to it. Nice. So let's talk a little bit about the food facilities here. We have three kitchens, and uh, we have five dining venues, and they, mm -hmm. some of them run breakfast, lunch, dinner. Some uh, are just dinner. In our main dining room here, it's just dinner. Probably do about uh, 175 to 200 covers in this dining room a night. Beautiful dining room too. It's really uh, it's classy. gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. Stay tuned for more of the Chef's Kitchen from Folkways at Gwynedd. We're back with more of the Chef's Kitchen from Folkways at Gwynedd. So now we're going to make a little stone fruit relish to go with this catfish. Yeah. We have some nice plums and some nice peaches. Seasonal. End of season really yeah. here. Yeah, and they're 
They're actually still running pretty good they right really now. They really are. So. A lot of people don't realize that the stone fruits can go just up until the frost, like tomatoes and That's eggplant right. and all that good stuff. That's right. So we're going to make a little relish and just top the catfish. Keep it real simple. Let the mm -hmm. flavors just, you know, I don't like to complicate things too much totally. here. Kind of believe. Now, if you're making a salad, it shouldn't have any more than uh, four or five ingredients, especially. You just start to mm -hmm. mix it up a little bit too much. For you them. find a lot of the residents here into fine dining and more hot cuisine. They do have, uh, they have a lot of different uh, palates here. Yeah. You, you can imagine. I have uh, everyone from the meat and potato to somebody that was just at uh, one of the best cutting edge restaurants that's out there right now. Right. So pleasing them all is tough, but we, yeah. uh, we balance the menu. And I love that they can kind of come in here on fish night and pick the fish that they want, pick how it's cooked, and then customize it with the different toppings that you supply. Oh uh, yeah, it never gets boring, and it also adds a creative side to the like, the other cooks here that um, you know they kind of they kind of have a competition to see what residents love their <laughs> their their cooking style the best. Right. Um, it's really a great environment for the cooks to to have fun in. Nice. I see you've got a beautiful selection of herbs up here too. It's, it's these grown on the premises? They are. We have a, a herb garden outside of one of our dining venues. Uh, cool. And there's about five raised beds there, and we also put um, flowers in there, so that they're part of the landscape. Very this nice. This parsley came out of uh, out of there. Uh, we're at the end of the herb season, but um, mm -hmm. that sage was picked this morning, and Wonderful. It's, it's great. Um, and you know you can imagine so a resident's waiting to uh to get their meal or they're in between and they see the chefs walking around out there with scissors yep. and picking their own herbs i mean the freshness is just definitely doesn't get any right fresher in your than face that. there so. oh how cool and right. a lot of the residents here garden themselves oh they do yep mm -hmm. they like to uh sometimes they'll share their their gardening tips and some of their products with us i'm sure i could learn a lot from them <laughs> i'm a gardening novice but i enjoy it Yes, it's great to garden. All right, so we've got a little rough cut mm -hmm. flat leaf parsley in there. So you just had a plum and looks like a white peach? Correct, cool. correct. We're gonna do a little, let's keep it very simple again. Mm -hmm. A little olive oil, a pinch of salt. I'm gonna do a spoonful of a little lemon juice mm. to liven it up a little bit. Definitely. And you like to cook with a lot of acids and herbs and full flavors here, so you can kind of minimize the salt. Keeps it right? keeps it very fresh yeah. and, and vibrant. Um, it just looks that's great right there. And one thing I noticed about the seafood that you do choose here is you try to pick sustainable choices. We do. Um, it's part of our program here with Inside the Fish Market is mm -hmm. uh, being conscious of what's going on in the environment. Yep. Very um, important. Okay, so we'll set this relish aside. Let all the flavors get nice and happy in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get ready to start our, um, we're going to do the halibut mm -hmm. as a, we're going to do a red quinoa cake. So we're going to oh, make that beautiful. right now. Uh, quinoa is very popular right now. Oh, yeah. um, you know, some of the residents say, where'd you get this new grain from? Mm -hmm. And because they hadn't heard of it, but then when they eat it, they really, uh, really enjoy it. It's so, an ancient grain, right? Ancient it is. grains are sort of the new thing. It is. They They've are. They've been around forever. They're back. <laughs> Um, so we're going to add the, the quinoa, one egg. Okay. I love this. This is sort of like a play on an arancini or a risotto cake. Exactly, exactly. Um, we're going to add a little bit of parsley. A little freshness. Yeah, and we're going to add a shallot as well. And the quinoa I've, I've recently seen comes in a lot of different colors. You can get the red, the white. Uh, I've recently seen a black quinoa. That's right. We, and we serve those on our menu here. Um, mm -hmm. They're starting to, the more we use them, the residents are getting... We're getting all jazzed up about them, they like to see them. We do, we do different things with them as well. We'll mix vegetables in with them. Great. Um, this quinoa cake is uh, something that I'm looking to put on the next coming menu, possibly. Excellent. Um, it's so helpful. I mean, it's really high in protein. It's a complete protein. It has all the essential amino acids. That's right. A little spoon here, a little Dijon mustard. Nice. Great flavor. And how often do you change up the menus here? Um, twice a year. Okay. But we also we have multiple events where... Uh, once a month we do a birthday night for to celebrate oh, all the residents so birthday and we we elevate the menu and um, you know we'll serve rack of lamb and Ooh. we'll have different fish and so um, it's 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 a great event all I the residents get together and it is it's, <laughs> it's fun it's fun so we're gonna take one of these fish and mm -hmm. lay it down on the flour okay salt okay 
So we're going to mix this quinoa cake. All right. Mm -hmm. So really simple. It is. And what I'm going to do here is I like to leave the parsley whole. Interesting. Sometimes it will um, run through the whole cake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little breadcrumb to that. Quinoa is gluten free, so if I wanted to do this completely gluten free, you, you just could do toasted it. toasted rice uh, okay. powder mm -hmm. is one great thing. We do have a fair amount of residents that are are gluten free, yep. and um, we do make sure that we have certain options for them every night. So you can totally accommodate different dietary preferences and special diets here. Correct. Wonderful. Correct. Our wellness dietitian works with me, and we we all will meet with the residents, talk about, it, especially if they're a new resident. Yep. And um, we'll talk about their needs and their what they what they can eat, what they can't, sure. and, uh, and we'll work it out. So we're going to saute these cakes now. It's ready? like having a personal chef, but you don't even have to have one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just have you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pan's nice and hot. You cook with a lot of olive oil here, also. We do. Uh, we only use olive oil. Uh, there are some applications. We use canola oil. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple soy allergies in the campus. Okay. So when I got here, I just said, you know what, olive oil and uh, canola, and I took the soy right out of it. The blended, blended vegetable oil is sometimes uh, Where you never really soy. know exactly. Right. Let them, let them firm up on the one side. Stay tuned for more from Folkways at Gwynedd. We're back with more of the Chef's Kitchen from Folkways at Gwynedd. I see you have some Brussels sprouts over there, too. Right. I'm very curious what you're going to do with those. We're going to do that with the quinoa cake. I'm going to shave Yum. them. Oh, or cool. That's what we're going to do right now. Um, we're going to shave the Brussels sprouts and apples, and we're going to do a little saute with them to go with the quinoa cake and the uh, That sounds fantastic. Brussels sprouts used to be one of those vegetables that had a really bad reputation. <laughs> I mean, when I was growing up, Brussels sprouts were one of, it was like Brussels sprouts and lima beans. Nobody wanted to go near. But they are all the rage today. They are. They are. I love them. I do, too. Put some pancetta on them. I could eat oh, a whole please. bowl of them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we serve a lot of fresh Brussels mm -hmm. here. Um, they're great. They're also a superfood. So yes. we try to use as many superfoods in our, in our menu Coming planning. into season as well. Oh, yeah. These are great. Nice and One fresh. More. Now we're just going to take an apple. Can you do any baking, dessert spreads, things like that? We do. We do. We have a um, we have a baker on premise here, and mm -hmm. she uh, she and I work on the, the menu with seasonality in mind, yep. and um, it it's a love here by yeah. the residents. Oh, um, nice! I bet you get some pretty great birthday cakes for birthday night too. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Okay, so we have that. So we're going to okay. hit this with a little light saute as well. Now, I noticed you're saving your fish to cook at the very end because it doesn't really take much time. No, it doesn't. And, uh, you know, uh, that's one of the great things since we cooked a fish to order here mm -hmm. for the residents. There's certain preferences. I have residents that will come in with this with a little salt, and they'll say, I want my salmon, salmon medium rare. Yeah. And uh, we'll go ahead and be able to do that since we're cooking it to order. That's so great that you cook it to order and that everything can be customized. I think that's such a nice draw. Yeah, we love it. All right, a little more heat on this guy. Cakes are browning up nice. And this is a nice little grill you have here. Do you ever grill whole fish? Um, we haven't done that yet. That's no? a good idea. I might have to take your suggestion on that. Oh, they're so flavorful yeah. when they're cooked on the bone. Yeah, especially bronzino. That yes. might be a really good idea. Snapper, red snapper, one of my favorites. Keep going. You're giving me great ideas for my next <laughs> menu. I can stick around. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we'll get another saute pan. These guys are warm over here as well. I want a light, light saute on that. And we'll kind of finish off over there. This really must be a treat for the residents to be able to come in here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and have this quality of food made every day. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's great to be able to converse with them on a daily yes. basis. And you you kind of get, you know, in a, in a restaurant, you get to see your patrons maybe, you know, once once every couple weeks, once a month. Sure. Uh, I really get to know them, and, you know, we get great feedback, and they're not afraid to tell me when we didn't hit the mark on something. That's but a good thing, Also, at the same that. time, they're, they love it. They, I, I would say that. Oh, beautiful. Look at those. Yeah, nice and a little brown, a little nutty on it. Yeah, but they, it's just, it's a great relationship with all the cooks have. Um, 
with them. They become almost a little bit of their family because we're taking care of their, uh, their eating needs every day. Yep, that's exactly. That's a big, big part of the reason why people uh, come to community. Definitely. Right, so these look great. They I'm do. I'm going to these over here as okay. well. And we'll get this catfish going. That's a nice thin fillet, so that'll cook up really fast. Right. Does the catfish become pretty popular here? I know you said you serve it a it lot. It has. Yeah. And when we do it, we'll have different rubs, and some people just want a plain pan seared. Yep. We'll blacken it sometimes. Um, it's really it's versatile. We try to switch it up. Um, you know, I look at what's um, in the sustainable piece, and then I look at what variety we run. So we might run the catfish for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll switch out to another fish that comes in. Um, it's great. We have a good relationship with a company, ProFish, that um, they have a great thing that can tell us when the fish comes into the dock mm -hmm. um, and when it hits our dock. Really? Yeah, we can track it. So That's fantastic technology. Yeah, it's, it's fun. You really know this stuff is fresh then. Yeah, it's it's the world is changing with that. Um, you For know, sure. Everyone wants to know where their food is coming from. And us Absolutely. being able to tell, a, tell the residents what waters it came from, what mm -hmm. boat, Mm -hmm. Tell them the captain's name. It's a, it's a pretty <laughs> interesting piece. The stone fruit relish is softened a little bit. You see some of the yeah. juices are out of it because of the salt released a little it bit of the wonderful. juices. wonderful. It smells really fresh. Great. Stay tuned for more from Folkways at Gwynedd. We're back with more from Folkways at Gwynedd. Looks like the halibut's ready to turn. Oh, look at that nice and brown. Nice. And you just dust that with a little flour so you can help get That's that crust on crunch, there. That's a little crunch, a little crunch. It's always good. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I like to leave the cashews a little whole so you get the bite of the, yeah, the nut. Yeah, get that crunch. Yeah. It's always nice to have a little texture with fish because yep. it can be so soft. All right. The fish is almost done. Actually, I'm going to need four plates. Four? Because we're doing two dishes. This is correct. Now, is catfish okay to keep a little rare in the center, or you always want to cook that through? You can keep it, um, yeah, I like to cook it about medium. Mm -hmm. um, it's not one of those sushi type sure, fish right. where you want it a little meaty, but um, it's preference too. You know? mm -hmm. If it's coming in that fresh, definitely, it, um, it'll be great. I'll take those other two plates. Yep, right here. Right. I love how on each of these little quinoa cakes, you've got the parsley stem sticking and out. It gives a little rustic Yeah. Note. A little fun. Go ahead and lay a little relish down on the bottom. That way we get a little height on the fish. So usually you have three different types of fish for them to choose from a night and about how many different toppings? Uh, usually three to four. Wow. Um, and there's always the staple of tartar and well, we do a remy lot here. And um, That would go great with the catfish, keep yep. it Cajun style. I'll put that right there. We change those with the season and the type of fish too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that fish, as well as vegetables, are seasonal, too. It's true. Especially in this part right yep, now. Yep, for sure. There we go. A little extra olive oil on top. Lots of flavor in that. Yeah, the crust has got a great color in it. Mm -hmm. The apple's kind of broken down just yeah. a little bit. They almost form like an applesauce. That's right. Relish on the top here. Great. We've got two of our residents here joining us today. We've got Patty Ann and David. Thank you so much for coming and helping us taste. We'll get to that in a minute. I thank want to you talk for to inviting you. us. Oh, yes, of thank course. You. We're happy to have very you. Very exciting. Good. Well, Patty Ann, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about your life living here. I know you've been here for about 12 years. Yes, we How's have. How's it been? It's been wonderful. In the first place, uh, uh, we had uh, to take care of our parents. Mm -hmm. And so we decided long ago that we wanted to make that decision for, uh, for ourselves, sure. take it out so that our children didn't have to make those decisions. That's very selfless. So we, we looked around a little bit, but we always knew we went, wanted to come here. Wonderful. And it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. Oh, fantastic. And David, how about yourself? Other than marrying my wife, <laughs> this is the smartest move we ever made. Wow. And you notice which came first. Absolutely. That's smart. <laughs> 
And how about the food here in the dining facilities? We look forward to it. They post the uh, menu in the uh, mail room, so we know what's to look forward oh, to. Oh, that's really great. Yeah, it's it's great. All right, well, I'm going to pass out some forks. Okay, so we thank can you. In. I'm very excited to try yeah. this catfish. Okay. Oh my, look at this. Mm. In the first place, the presentation is very nice. It really is. I mean, it makes mm. you want to eat it. Mm. The greatest thing about cooking fish here mm -hmm. is that it's never overdone. Yes. It's never dry. Mm. It's made to order. It's mm -hmm. made to order. Exactly. Did you try this quinoa cake? Mm, take a bite. Mm. I love the pop of mustard that you put in there. That's good, too. It really is. You guys love everything? Mm-hmm, you I bet. I do, too. Well, thank you so much for being here and helping us taste everything today. Thank you. Chef, thank you again. Great time. It's been thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Uh, really, we like the treat, so uh, <laughs> it's not a hardship for us. No. Wonderful. We always like to eat here on the Chef's Kitchen. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thanks for having us here. Folkways at Gwened, located on 110 beautiful acres, where walking or biking are the preferred modes of transportation and pursuing mental and physical fitness fill a portion of every day. Folkways at Gwened offers award-winning health care, financial stability, farm-to-table healthy cuisine, and a commitment to achieving a carbon-neutral footprint, all while honoring the Quaker values of respect for personal dignity and equality. Folkways at Gwened, your retirement, your way.